Well, I'm sure you probably remember the scene, a critter causing chaos during the holiday classic movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. A Jacksonville Beach family actually has had a somewhat similar experience. Ahead of the holiday, tiny bugs were found on the floor around their Christmas tree. So they tossed the tree outside and called pest control in. But as the family and On Your Side's Troy Kless learns, this was an unwelcome present. Exactly, Heather. It was the week before Thanksgiving in this Jack's Beach home when the perfect tree was found. But when tiny bugs fell from the tree, it caused some alarm. But as we learned, the Christmas bugs caused no harm. This was the Christmas tree Lee Mabry picked. She found 20 to 30 of these bugs that she believed was a tick. In 22 years of having a live tree, Mabry says they've always been bug free. Pest control told her it was a Christmas bug, formerly known as an aphid. Aphids are very uh, harmless little bugs. They're not a spider where they might bite you. Uh, they're just a little tiny bug trying to find a green leaf to chew on. Tim O'Connor is the executive director of the National Christmas Tree Association. He says tree farmers work with experts to keep bugs away from tree crops. Bugs like aphids won't harm your home, people or pets. O'Connor says there are many ways to rid the tree of Christmas crawlers. You can have uh, often at a retail location, you can have a tree put on a shaker again. Some places offer that service. You can certainly bounce the tree up and down a bit. Um, People have used a hose. So the tree doesn't have to be burned down if it has a critter. Mabry is not bitter, but knows what to do in Christmases yet to come. Now, we know this is a fake tree, but we'll give you some recommendations. So entomologists that I spoke with say that you basically have to check underneath the around the trunk of the tree and where the branches meet the trunk and to see if any bugs might be there before you pick it up. But Mabry says that she did get a full refund from the tree farm and they did take it away. And she has a fake one for now. But like she said, she knows the lesson to learn in Christmases in the future. We're live on the South Side, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.